Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's EJ Marino and this is About Last Night, the show where I talk about the movie I saw last night. Though I did not see a movie last night, I saw it like an hour ago. Yes, I am talking about Avengers Endgame. Yes, this is my spoiler-free review of Avengers Endgame. I cannot talk about spoilers in this movie, not only because I'm scared like Disney's gonna send ninjas to come attack me, but you have to see this movie to really get the experience. This is Marvel's masterpiece. That's the only way I can sum everything up. Everything that they've been building towards, everything the actors, the directors, the, the, the producer Kevin Feige, even the characters in this movie, Everything that they've been building towards pays off in this movie. I am so impressed that Marvel stuck the landing. So, you know, it's so easy to like have a good beginning, have a good middle, but the ending is hard to perfect. Now, I have not loved all of the MCU. Actually, to be honest, I hated it at first, but recently I've seen the art in their brand, and this movie is the most artistic I have ever seen the MCU. The only word that really pops in my head when I think of Endgame is spectacle. Rarely does a movie feel this large, this that has this much weight, feels this important. Not just for the characters on screen, but for you guys, the viewers. This is 10 years in the making, with everything from the first Iron Man coming towards a head in this final chapter. It's so crazy to see, like, pages turn to, like, so many different things. It's just really, really well done of how much they include in this movie, how many homages, how much fan service, how many actually good heartfelt moments are in here. Truly, if you're an MCU fan, this is going to make you ball tears. Now, I'm a casual MCU fan. Actually, like I said, I was a hater for a long time, but this movie, this one really just impressed me. As I, like I said, as a casual fan, it got me. But for you diehard Marvel people, I advise you to bring some tissues because you will be bawling. One of the only negatives I can think of, and it's only like a light negative, is with a movie that has this much happening, all of this drama, all of this action, all of these characters, it does feel a little messy at times. I think sometimes in the second act is the only time I feel the movie drags. This is a three hour movie, and for the most part, I thought it breeze through, but in the middle section, if you're not a massive Marvel fan, a lot of that fan service isn't going to really connect with you, so you're going to be like, this is cool, but I like the story that we're focusing on, and that's what the, oh, like I said, the only thing is, every now and then I would be like, ooh, can we go back to these characters, or can we, like, tighten this up, because I think there's a better story over here. Like I said, with so much happening, the movie's bound to be messy, but actually, at the same time, I'm happy Marvel doesn't have to be this manufactured, this template template, this like assembly line movies. This feels a little unpolished. This feels messy and it actually feels like they had fun creating this. Not that I think it's boring to make a Marvel movie, but this one just seems like all of them were like, we're going to give our all. We're not going to go for perfect. We're going to go for artful. We're going to go for a story. And that's what I love. That's all I've wanted from the Marvel movies. Stop trying to be perfect and make a good heartfelt movie. And this is heartfelt. This is uh, it's a lot happening, and I love that it can handle it the best it can. Like I said, a little bit here and there that I'm like, mm, tighten that up, but other than that, there's really no complaints. Now I want to talk about the most valuable players in Endgame. It's hard to not dive into spoilers while talking about these characters, but I do want to give you some light like feelings on some of my the ones that stick out to me. First things first. Thor. I've been a big fan of Thor since they've redone him in Ragnarok, and this movie continues that awesome arc. I love the character of Thor. I love Chris Hemsworth's performances. And in this movie, his acting chops are as good as it gets. He has some of the most action, some of the most drama, some of the most comedic scenes, and Thor Chris Helmsworth handles it so well. Like I said, with all of this happening, I thought he honestly would might get lost in the shuffle. There's so many characters, there's so many actors, there's so many dramatic moments, but Thor handles it all so well. Some of the funniest moments, I love how crazy he got. He's a little wackadoo in this movie, but he's so fun to watch. Now, speaking of crazy, Captain America. I, he's my favorite Avenger, like, from the beginning, even if I didn't love the Marvel movies, I loved Cap, and he has some of the biggest OMG moments in this movie, he has some of the funniest lines, he has some of the most heart and soul of this movie, he shares the heart and soul with Tony, you know, I, I think him and Tony Stark have such a good 
arc in this movie, just them two as characters and them two separately. But I just think Captain America, Steve Rogers, uh, Chris Evans does so well in this movie. This feels like his piece. This feels like his movie. This isn't spoiling or anything. This just says that this feels like, to me, this was such a great piece for Captain America. He deserved it. As Like I said, as my favorite Avenger, I wanted this moment. Though, I will say, if you have a favorite Avenger, they have a good moment in this movie. Everyone has a good time to shine. All of the characters that you love have their moment in this, and I loved seeing that. I thought that was so great, but like I said, my MVPs are Thor and Captain America. Those are the ones I say watch out for in Endgame, because they're going to steal the show. Should you see Avengers Endgame? If you're a Marvel fan, you already have the tickets. You're just using this review to like reaffirm your beliefs. But if you were on the fence about it, if you were like, maybe should I get my tickets this weekend? Buy it. This is going to be a pop culture moment. Rarely do we get event films like this and Avengers Endgame feels like an event. You're not going to want to miss out on the conversation this weekend. Everyone will be talking about all of the insanity in this movie, and rightfully so. It's a damn good movie. I would give this like a 4 out of 5. Almost a perfect score. Like I said, those little minor things in the middle of the movie kind of uh, like threw me off, but it's a nearly perfect movie. A Marvel masterpiece. So awesome to see. So happy that it is. So yes, go see this movie opening weekend. I say go see it opening weekend, second weekend, a month later. This is a rewatchable fun time. That is it for my review of Avengers Endgame. Sorry I had to keep it so short or kind of just be jumbled up, but my mind is still trying to process all this movie. I'm still trying to figure out what I can say without spoiling things. So thank you so much for tuning into this review. If you did enjoy it, leave me a comment down below. If you have seen the movie, do not spoil it. If you want to get spoilers, wait for my spoiler review. But yes, comment down below if you liked this video. Comment down below if you want to see Avengers Endgame. I want to know if you're seeing it this weekend, when you plan on seeing it. Also, give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this review and subscribe to my channel because I make videos like this every single week. You will not want to miss my spoiler review later this week.